Scotland is known for its rich history, filled with tales of clans and noble families. Among these esteemed lineages, Clan Hay stands tall as a prominent force that has left an indelible mark on Scottish history. From their Norman roots to their steadfast loyalty to the Stuart monarchy, the story of Clan Hay is a captivating narrative of courage, power, and enduring heritage. The roots of Clan Hay can be traced back to the Norman princes who accompanied William the Conqueror to England in 1066. One such member, William de la Hay, became the cupbearer to Malcolm IV and was claimed as an ancestor by Sir William Hay of Errol when he was elevated to the peerage as the Earl of Errol in 1453. The family's ancestral lands in Errol, Perthshire, were confirmed to William de Hare by charter around 1172, securing their position and influence. The Hay family's destiny took a significant turn when Sir Gilbert Hay became a loyal companion of Robert the Bruce during Scotland's tumultuous struggle for independence. Sir Gilbert fought bravely alongside Bruce, enduring the hardships of early campaigns and sharing the glory of the historic Battle of Bannockburn. In recognition of his unwavering loyalty, Gilbert was rewarded with the lands of Slains in Aberdeenshire and bestowed with the esteemed office of Lord High Constable of Scotland. The hereditary title of Lord High Constable, bestowed upon Gilbert Hay in 1314, elevated the Hay family to a position of unparalleled prestige. This honour granted the holder precedence in Scotland, second only to the royal family itself. The Lord High Constable was responsible for the personal safety of the monarch and played a pivotal role in coronations, serving as the sword bearer. The office also entailed maintaining a ceremonial royal guard, known as the Derwood of Partisans, and holding theoretical jurisdiction over crimes near the royal person. Throughout their lineage, Clan Hay married into royal and Celtic bloodlines, further enhancing their status and connections. Sir Thomas Hay, 7th Baron of Errol, married Elizabeth, daughter of Robert II, solidifying their ties to the royal line. In later years, the Hayes remained steadfastly loyal to the Stuarts, participating in the Jacobite Risings of 1715 and 1745. Mary Hay, the 13th Earl, actively engaged in Jacobite intrigue, using the ruins of Slane's castle as a meeting place for agents. Their unwavering loyalty to the Stuart cause demonstrates their commitment to their beliefs and heritage. The influence of Clan Hay extended beyond the main lineage of the Earl of Errol. Other branches of the family rose to prominence, including the Hayes of Yester, who later became the Marquesses of Tweeddale. They left an architectural legacy through the construction of the magnificent Yester mansion near Difford in East Lothian. The Hayes of Dulgatie also made their mark, with Sir William Hay serving as the Chief of Staff to Montrose during his campaign on behalf of Charles I.